the armed forces provides amazing training. I think about veterans as people who have already figured out how to serve. My military skills have been essential. Hiring veterans is a great business case. They're the best employees we have. They're flexible, hardworking, and they're used to a global workplace. If that isn't an asset to any company, I don't know what is. Hiring America. The award-winning television job fair for American veterans. Connecting you with companies who know your value. Learn about employers who are actively hiring today and organizations that support veterans. Your future success starts right here on Hiring America. Hiring America is produced in cooperation with the VFW. No one does more for veterans. Welcome to Hiring America, the television series that helps military veterans find jobs and transition into meaningful careers. I'm Andrea Vasquez. Today, we're at the Mid-America Trucking Show in Louisville, Kentucky. It's the largest annual heavy-duty trucking industry event in the world. We're speaking with companies that are actively hiring veterans and with organizations who serve the military community. We're also talking with veterans like you who've made successful transitions into the civilian workforce. We'll help connect you to the job openings and give you information to get you the job you deserve. Log on to our website hiringamerica.net for more information and follow us on our Facebook page and Instagram. The U.S. trucking industry has committed to hire 100,000 veterans in the next two years. Military experience, regardless of MOS, is highly valued. You can find these jobs from leading employers on the website truckingtrack.org. One of the leading employers of veterans in the trucking industry is Werner Enterprises. My name is Dave Conklin. I'm a soldier for life, veteran of the Army, got out in 1972. I've been a professional truck driver for 40 years. 14 of those 40 years have been right here with Werner Enterprises out of Omaha, Nebraska. Here at Werner, you will be treated right. You get to customize your career at Warner, and that's one of the things that brought me over here. What kind of run do you want to get on? What kind of home time do you need to satisfy your family obligations? How much do you want to make? Being a veteran taught me how to be disciplined, self-reliant, and a team player. You have a great opportunity in the trucking industry. My dad believed as an Army veteran himself, you never stop serving your country. So whether you have a load of stick matches or a load of gold bouillon, when the customer wants it there, safe and compliant, you are there on time. That's what true American truckers do. And that's what I'm proud to say I do for Werner Enterprises. Give us a look. Let us show you what we have to offer. Werner Enterprises, founded in 1956, is a premier transportation and logistics company with coverage worldwide. The company is ranked both as a top 50 military friendly and military spouse friendly employer. Joining me to talk about Werner Enterprises and their military hiring initiatives is Rick Buckholtz, an Army veteran and the Associate Director of Field Recruiting and Government Hiring for the company. Rick, thanks for joining us here on Hiring America. Andrea, it's a pleasure to be here. Can you tell me about Werner Enterprises? Werner Enterprises is a premier transportation logistics company based out of Omaha, Nebraska. We are among the five largest truckload carriers in the United States, and we touch over 125 countries with our global logistics. And we are recognized in local markets as well as nationally for our very robust uh, government hiring veteran initiatives. And the founder has a special passion for hiring veterans. Mr. C.L. Warner is a, an American success story, and he's a patriot. And C.L. knows very well that only in America could a 19-year-old come off of a farm, sell his car, buy one truck, and 60 years later be running a $2.1 billion global company. So he's very patriotic and he understands that the reason that he could do something like that as a young man is because of sacrifices that veterans and their spouses have made through the years. And what assets do you see in your veteran employees that may be specific to their military experience? They're very loyal. They're flexible. They can take orders. They can give orders. They show up on time and they're safe. And they bring all those skills from the military, the tangible skills and the intangible skills that work very well in our industry because the military way of life and the way of life in the transportation industry parallel. 
So that's why veterans are very, a uh, very good fit for the transportation industry, and we, we're very aware of that. Tell me about the progress that's been made at Warner Enterprises since we last talked to you about your military recruitment. Our veteran initiatives at Warner are, are making significant strides. Um, last year we hired over 1,600 veterans and over 150 veteran spouses, and this year we're on track to make some significant milestones. Uh, by the end of 2016, we're going to hire our 25th thousandth veteran since we started keeping track back in April of 2006, and we're going to hire our 500th military spouse uh, since we started tracking in May of 2013. So those are some significant milestones that we will reach by the end of 2016. What new military hiring initiatives does Werner Enterprises have? Well, we have our apprenticeship program for our drivers uh, where they can pull out of their GI Bill education fund while they're driving for us for up to two years. And we've just recently brought on a, an apprenticeship program for our veterans in, in our mechanics and our technician side of the house where they can draw from their GI Bill for up to three years. And we also put into place a military skills test waiver program where we can hire the veterans who have experience already driving uh, trucks in the military. Tell me more about your military spouse program and what kinds of jobs they're applying for. Hiring our veterans is very important to us. Hiring our spouses is very important to us as well. They hire on as drivers. They can hire on as customer service managers. They can hire on as fleet managers, load planners, logistics specialists. So there's a very wide array of jobs that we can hire on our spouses, the military spouses. We're here at the Mid-America Trucking Show in Louisville, Kentucky. Do you come to a lot of job fairs like this? Warner Enterprises comes to the Mid-America Truck Show every year. We also go to the Great American Truck Show in Dallas. We go to a lot of military hiring events across the country. We go to many truck driving schools, so you can always find a Warner representative out there that's looking to hire veterans and veteran spouses uh, for employment. Tell me about your Freedom Fleet. How many trucks do you have and, and what's the purpose? We're very proud of our Freedom Fleet. Our Freedom Fleet was conceived and we use it uh, as a way to honor uh, and say thank you. Uh, to our military veterans and their spouses. And we use them as a recruiting tool, uh, as well as a retention tool, and they go out to these schools and these hiring events and kind of show Warner's passion for our veteran and veteran spouses. Right now, there's six, and there's a seventh one is being put together right now as we speak. Earlier today, we met Dave Conkling, a veteran driver in your Freedom Fleet. How does he stand out from the rest of the drivers? Dave Conkling is one of the best drivers in the country. He's an Army veteran. He's been driving a truck for over 40 years. He's been with Warner Enterprises for 14 of those years, and he has over 1 million safe driving miles with Warner Enterprises. He's very passionate about what he does. He was a trainer. He's trained hundreds of drivers, and he was on the uh, Warner Enterprises road team as a captain as well. This morning, you reaffirmed Warner's commitment to hiring the Garden Reserve through the statement of support for the ESGR. Why is that such an important piece for your company? The majority of our military is made up of Guard and Reserve, these citizen soldiers, unless they're put on active duty, are working one week in a month, two weeks out of the year. They need a full-time career path other than doing that. The transportation industry is a perfect place for them to come. It's very flexible, uh, and it, we work very well around their, their military schedules. We take that very seriously, and we get them to where they're supposed to be for their military commitment. Tell us about Werner's association with Roadmaster, the commercial driver license school. Roadmaster is a premier Class A CDL trainer in the United States, and Werner has significantly strengthened um, their relationship with, with Roadmaster to hire the quality drivers that they are producing out of their schools to get on our roads and highways and to be safe and on time and deliver America's freight. Where can veterans find out more about job openings at Werner Enterprises? Veterans and veteran spouses can find more information about Warner at WernerHiringHeroes.com, DriveWarner.com, or any events throughout the country where there are Warner representatives there and willing to talk. Rick Buchholz, thanks for joining us here at Hiring America. Thank you, Andrea. We'll be back with more of Hiring America in a moment. Continue the conversation on our Facebook page and Twitter, and visit our website, at HiringAmerica.net. Submit a video with advice to help transitioning veterans entering the civilian workforce. As you hang up your uniform and move into civilian life, you need to learn how to translate. Military job descriptions are written with military jargon. This is the language that you have been speaking for the last several years. But when you include that on your resume, oftentimes hiring managers like me, we don't get it. We don't see how you will fit into our organization. Go to HiringAmerica.net slash contest and you could win a Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga.
Sirius XM is committed to hiring veterans. Joining us now here in Boston is Walt Sanderson, Vice President, Employee Relations and Diversity Officer at Sirius XM. Walt, thanks so much for joining us here on Hiring America. The pleasure is mine. Tell us a little bit more about Sirius XM. Well, we are the only provider of satellite-based uh, radio communications, and we have a wide variety of quality programming on the talk, sports, and music side. And in addition, we provide other services like roadside assistance. What skill sets do these veterans have that make them perfect candidates for these specific positions at SiriusXM? Well, they were all telecommunications or satellite operations controllers in the military. We use a lot of the same technology in order to broadcast the best radio on radio via satellite. So the skills are directly transferable from the military to the things that we do in the civilian side. With the technology always changing and advancing in your industry, do you see the demand for these veterans will only continue to grow as years progress here within the company? Yeah, that's true. The demand is always going to go up because there's lots of folks who are involved in technology. Uh, there are civilian jobs in the government. There are other uh, competitors in the uh, civilian space. So. These are uh, great skills to gain if you're in the military still and you have an opportunity to study telecommunications, it's a great thing to do. What has SiriusXM done to help the transition? Because as we mentioned, these veterans were transitioning straight from the service into SiriusXM. Well, one of the things that really has eased the transition for these employees has been the fact that the hiring managers and the uh, executive leaders as well are also former military. So they kind of understand exactly the quality of training that they've had in the past. And tell us the advantage of being able to work with veterans, veterans working with veterans on the job in the civilian workforce. Uh, there's an excellent orientation toward team building and getting the job done regardless of the uh, adversity that may be facing you. We really appreciate that. Um, when we have inclement weather, for example, and people just can't leave because the, a lot of the posts that they are operating under have to stay uh, supported at all times. And they're very comfortable with understanding that that's an important thing to do. How do you plan to continue to hire and recruit these veteran job seekers? Well, we continue to work with the transition assistance programs at various military bases to get a pipeline. And I tell you, one of the things that's really helped us is our existing veteran population are great ambassadors to talk to people who are, are going to exit in the near future to encourage them to apply for opportunities with us. How do you go about recruiting these veterans while they're still in the service since it's such a quick transition for them? The transition assistance programs that are at every major military base are very helpful and they are also very committed to helping these veterans transition into civilian life. So using those um, those offices is a big help for us. For vets interested in a job at SiriusXM, where can they go? www.siriusxm.com slash careers. Walt, thanks so much for joining us here on Hiring America. You're quite welcome. This Military Minute is brought to you by the Veterans of Foreign Wars. The VFW has a place for you. There's a word we hear a lot these days, but somehow it's lost its meaning. Heroes. But who are the real heroes? I've known heroes, real heroes. Men and women whose sacrifice served a nation. When the guns are silenced and the battlefields grow quiet, they're still fighting. But without our support, it's a war they'll never win. They need our help. The kind of help America's veterans get from the VFW. Help with their VA benefits claims, with school and jobs, help accessing complex medical care and making ends meet. The VFW is there for them. Will you be there for them too? Hiring America will be back in a moment. The military always prepares you for your next move, your next job, whatever school you're gonna attend. When you go through basic training, in the Marine Corps it's three months, you go to a technical school, sometimes it could be up to a year, uh, and then you get out to do the fleet and you're just starting your, your military career. Um, when it comes to transitioning, you get one week. And you're supposed to know everything that there is to know about that transition. Verizon employs more than 13,000 military service members, veterans, and reservists. 
Here to talk to us about Verizon and their military initiatives is Joe Rocha, veteran advisor at the company. Joe, welcome to Hiring America. Thank you. Thank you for having me. What are some of the personal and professional programs that Verizon offers to service members and military spouses in helping with the transition into the civilian workforce? We have a specific military recruiting team where we go out, we're very hands-on, one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. We speak with and mentor, coach, and guide the veterans through that transition process into Verizon. Do you also seek out military spouses and reservists too? We do. Uh, one of the members on our team is a military spouse. She runs our spouse program uh, nationwide and we understand that not only the veteran has served but also the spouse so we'd like to give back to the spouses as well. You are a 20-year veteran of the Marine Corps. What was the experience like? I had three tours in Iraq um, so obviously very arduous conditions but um, it taught me a lot. It took a boy, made me a man, uh, gave me all the skills necessary to become successful in life. And, and I, I feel had I not had the Marine Corps, um, I may not be where I'm at today. What was the transition like for you into the civilian workforce? It was a, a very tough transition. Um, and what I mean by tough is I struggled to get an opportunity. Um, there's a lot of companies out there that say they hire veterans. Um, in the first 10 months of my transition, I didn't find too many companies that were giving me an opportunity. Did you expect it to be that difficult? I did not. Uh, after 24 years in the Marine Corps, um, I thought I was going to be very selective and be able to pick and choose on what company I wanted to work for. I thought I was going to have to uh, kind of turn people down, and that's just not the case out there in the civilian sector. Was there an issue during the interview process? Um, no, I just think just getting the opportunity, being able to translate your military career into the uh, civilian resume is probably uh, was my biggest challenge. So since you experienced that during your transition, how are you able to apply that and help other service members who are also transitioning now? Hopefully I help prevent them from making the same mistakes that I made. What were the mistakes? Using a lot of acronyms, a lot of military terms, um, instead of using the civilian sector terms. Um, so those are some of the things that we work with the veterans on. Our website also has resume builders that assist them uh, with that process as well. What kind of jobs are available at Verizon? 75 percent of jobs that are available in the military are transferable into Verizon. So anything from mechanics, um, sales, logistics, uh, network engineers, IT, uh, we have quite a few jobs that transfer. What is the military to civilian resume guide? It helps to translate the jobs that they had in the military into potential jobs that they may qualify for with Verizon. You also have a military talent network? We do. It's a huge database um, which allows them to upload their resume into our database. So if we're searching for somebody with a mechanics background or a logistics or finance background, we're able to find them in our database very easily and contact them. What advice would you have for someone interested in a job at Verizon? First and foremost, go to our website, verizon.com forward slash military jobs. Um, there's a lot of information on that website. And then you could also contact a local recruiter in your area, which will send an email directly to one of us. Joe, thanks so much for joining us here on Hiring America. Thank you very much for having me. Check out these companies and organizations actively seeking veterans. Hiring America will be back in a moment. Thanks for watching. The information we've just shared is all on our website, hiringamerica.net. Log on and find out more about companies who are hiring veterans. And don't forget to connect with us on our Facebook page and Instagram. I'm Andrea Vasquez. Join us next week for another edition of Hiring America. Hiring America is produced in cooperation with the VFW. No one does more for veterans.
Promotional consideration provided by JetBlue, a proud employer of those who've served. This program made possible by the generous support of the following companies.